Let's start building our machine learning model, but first we need to discuss the prerequisites and tools. Of course, we will use Python, so you need to install Python on your machine. That's the prerequisite number one. This is the official website. Currently, the version is 3.12. You can see installation instructions for various operating systems like macOS in my case. And in terms of learning Python as a language, of course, you need to know the fundamentals. But to be honest, in machine learning projects, quite a lot of things are about calling the libraries, importing the libraries and calling their functions with some parameters and only some code in core Python. That said, I do advise to go through some Python for beginners course or Python fundamentals or Python 101, one of the options if you come from PHP background like myself. I suggest you my own course, which is called Python 101 for PHP developers, available for free on my Python ML Daily com, which will showcase the differences in syntax between Python and PHP and show you the things in Python that are not available in PHP and vice versa. Versa. So kind of a comparison course in a short way. So prerequisite number one is Python on your machine and some fundamental Python coding. The second prerequisite is IDE code editor. Probably the most popular Python editor IDE is PyCharm by JetBrains. This is not free by default, but it has a separate community edition, which is free and you can download it from JetBrains website. Also, you can use Visual Studio Code, VS Code, or for machine learning projects specifically, it's beneficial to use a tool called Jupyter Notebook. It allows you to run the Python code not in full script, but cell by cell, which is exactly what we will often do in machine learning projects. You will see that in a minute in action. And also it allows you to conveniently write the comments like you would do in a typical scientific notebook, doing some experiments, writing what you learn for yourself and for others in the future. So in this course, I will use Jupyter Notebook, but you can use any editor you want. And this is exactly what I will do next. Start Jupyter Notebook server. On my local machine, Jupyter Notebook, it will start a local web page and show the folder that I'm in. For now, I have salary CSV, the file that we will work with. Let's open that up. And here's our CSV with years of experience and salary. And our task, I will remind you, is to predict the salaries by years of experience. So let's start a new Jupyter Notebook, new Python script with file new notebook. And we will start write Python code here. A brief demo how Jupyter Notebook works. So you write Python code, for example, x equals 3 and then y variables equals x plus 3, for example. And then you want to know the y value you just put in the variable without any print. That's one of the advantages of Jupyter Notebook over IDEs like PyCharm. And you execute one specific cell with comment enter in my case, and you will see the result immediately. And then the benefit is that you can have another cell with the results still being here present. And then you can write kind of the second part of the script, the second cell, Z variable equals Y plus four, for example, and then show the Z value and execute only that part. Then you can relaunch only that part, for example, edit here plus two and common cell would execute only that part. And with ML projects, it's quite often you try out this part, you try out that part, you're kind of working with separate cells, sometimes combining them all together, sometimes executing only part of the script. So that's where Jupyter Notebook actually shines. Now let's start actually writing code for our project. And the first task is read that CSV into a local Python variable. So I will delete those cells and it's beneficial to know the keyboard shortcuts for Jupyter Notebook, but you will learn them as you go. So DD is for deleting cell, enter is for going inside the cell and type in code. And first we will import the library to read our CSV. In almost all of ML projects, you will use a library, Python library called pandas. So we import pandas as PD. Before that, before using pandas, you need to actually install it on your machine alongside Python with pip install pandas. 
pip is kind of library manager for Python to install external libraries. So you install that on your machine and then in Python scripts you may import pandas and spd is a shortcut, an alias that you will use later in the same script. So instead of typing pandas.something, for most libraries they recommend kind of official shortcuts or aliases, so pandas often come as pd. And what that pd helps us with is pd read csv and we have our salaries csv in the same folder as a parameter and we assign all that csv to a variable we call that df which stands for data frame data frame is a typical type of variable in pandas and now if you want to see the value of that df similarly how we did earlier with x and y and z variables we just execute that cell and the result is this our csv is now in the local variable of df and jupyter notebook shows the values pretty conveniently visually on top of that pandas has a lot of features and functions to explore that df from various angles so let's change that cell from df to df dot head which will show us let's execute five first rows of the data frame and this is enough for this lesson we discussed the tools and prerequisites we opened jupyter notebook we imported the first library and we have read our csv file into a local variable which we will then work with dividing that data frame into what we have and what we need to predict in the following lesson